Today we are back with a homeowner series on the Nebraska Lanes USA map. We have quite a lot of things we need to accomplish today. I got up a few hours ago, did a few chores in the house, and came to the office. I paid a few bills and got on FS19. Now it's time to get off the video games and do some things around the house. Today we will be picking up our brand new Porsche. The Bronco is done at the paint shop, we'll pick that up and we will buy some solar panels. Let's first head outside, give Diesel bowl food and a treat. About 6 months ago I custom ordered a Porsche and I'm very excited to pick it up. Over the last few weeks to be more specific, I've been really talking about getting one here in the game. So this is a pretty exciting day, very expensive day. And then tomorrow we are buying another car trading in our Mustang GT. And look at that, every time we come over here to his dog pen, Diesel always comes running and he eats pretty well. And I do feed him 3-4 times a day. Come on, Diesel, let's go check on the chickens really quickly. Now, when we go to pick up the Porsche, we will actually be taking the Ram 3500 in the enclosed trailer. And I think I want to vacuum that truck out. We bought the vacuum last week. Let's put it to work. Every morning I come out here and grab a few eggs to make some breakfast. And I have to tell you, fresh eggs is awesome. That come right from your backyard. Looks like they're all good food-wise. And just really quickly, we'll just uh, check inside here. Looks like everything's good to go. We'll close that door and let's head over. The homeowner series is very popular here on the channel, which is pretty exciting. I really do like this. A ton of cool things, very unique things, uh, to be more specific, is what we do with this series. So let's get the vacuum out. Yeah, it's over here. Perfect. This is a shop vac just picked up at the local store. It's good enough. We don't need nothing too fancy. And I think Diesel will be kind of hanging around here, I believe. Hopefully he does. Yeah, or it looks like he actually ran back over there, which is okay. Now last week our neighbor did buy a brand new Power Stroke 450 and I was thinking that possibly in a few months we could trade this coming in, in for that. I think that would be one awesome trade in. But let's get this door open. always like to kind of vacuum out the trucks and cars and I just try my best not to eat inside the car and just try to keep everything clean. Awesome, we got the floor mat out and we got everything vacuumed. That's so cool how we could have the uh, door open like that. Now the Cummins is also getting warmed up now, which is also a good thing. It's been sitting in here for a few days. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like down below. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithms, and that means more people can see today's video. So the Porsche I bought was a 2019 991.2 GT3. I'm very excited about it. Big, big fan of the Porsche sport cars. To be more specific, they're GT cars. Maybe we might buy another Porsche, maybe a GT4 manual. But this is an automatic PDK, and this is one awesome car. Now the sticker was $160,000. I didn't really get a discount as well, and uh, if we really want to take good care of it. The car should not depreciate too bad, and we should be able to recuperate the uh, majority of our money when we go to sell it. We'll probably put uh, four to 5,000 miles on it and sell it to get the next new Porsche. Now, I do prefer a dually forward towing. That's kind of why I did it choose the Ram, and it looks like we do need to get some diesel. So we'll stop at the station, grab diesel, and I'll actually grab a Mountain Dew probably. And the neighbor still has his 450 out there. That just looks so cool. Really want to buy one, but I think that we should wait a bit. About a week, week and a half ago, we dropped off our Ford Bronco at the body shop. It was completely rusted out, and they did a lot of metal work, replacing fenders, repairing fenders, and they did a full new paint. So I can't wait to pick that up, and we'll probably do that here after the Porsche. But I want to take the Porsche for a ride, and it will be hard not to go too fast because we need to allow it to break in. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your kind of dream in sports car, your favorite sports car? I really do like the uh, Porsches, and the car tomorrow we are getting is another one I really like. So diesel is 283, not too bad, and awesome, we got that filling up.
Thank you. Have a great day. Awesome. I got a Mountain Dew and a bag of Doritos, so we are good to go. I won't eat them inside the truck. I really uh, try to keep the uh, cars clean by not eating inside. Now back in FS17 with the homeowner series, we actually had a Porsche Turbo S, and this is above that as well. They're both the 911s, and uh, this is just a GT3. And take a look, that guy. There it is in the distance. I've been working on this car, I would say, the last three, four days, along with the one coming tomorrow, and that just looks so, so cool. I will adjust the scaling a little bit, and I am working on a full interior, but until then, we do have a pretty cool kind of GoPro camera view on top of the hood. Now the enclosed trailer will prevent rock chips, debris, anything from coming up on the road onto our brand new car. But look at this guys, $160,000, 500 horsepower, carbon ceramic center lock wheels as well. I really do like those carbon ceramic brakes, that's awesome, it prevents a lot of brake dust and this thing just looks so, so sweet. Now we do have a GoPro up top here on the windshield, which is a nice feature as well. I do want to take this to the track and probably to the mountains or some kind of back roads and hopefully we can find some good roads to take it on. Perfect, right about there seems to be good. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. My day has been awesome so far. I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby, great passion of mine. And I really appreciate those that share uh, that passion to even watch these videos. It's a lot of fun to record them. Now my goal for 2020 is to do a lot more multiplayer videos, trying to do a lot more uh, games as well. We are back with GTA 5 and you guys have been showing some great, great support on GTA 5 and I appreciate all of it. We will be doing probably weekly homeowner series videos. Now that's a pretty cool series. If you want to see more Porsches and cool cars, we do have a nice garage in the uh, GTA 5 house. And I think we'll kind of unload here in the driveway. We don't have too much room, so I think right here we'll be good. We'll take it for a spin, and then uh, we'll have to switch over. We'll use a 2020 with the open trailer. It won't fit in this one. The uh, Porsche, even inside here, looks so, so sweet. Get it unloaded here. Perfect. The Ram 3500 will no longer be able to park inside uh, that uh, second garage, which is fine. We'll probably just kind of put it in the barn area. Trying to go below 4,000 RPMs. Uh, we need probably th around 1,000 miles or at least 500 before we could go a little bit uh, higher up in the RPMs. This car is just so sweet. looks so nice. Now I did order some parts for the Bronco and we should be putting them on next week uh, so that will be a pretty nice thing to do. Perfect, we'll put this in the garage. I will be using the Ram and the enclosed trailer tomorrow to pick up that new car. Uh, since it is the winter, I kind of like trailering them. That's nice and it's easier as well. So we'll definitely trailer that. And we are trading the Mustang in. So no longer this Mustang, but what else are we buying? Uh, any guesses down below? And if you do want sneak peeks to what's happening with all of the video series, uh, you guys can give me a follow on Instagram. While we're backing up here, I'm going to turn off the hazards, turn off all these lights. Really do like the running lights though. They do look great. Right about there seems to be good. Let's grab the keys to the uh, 2020 Duramax and uh, let's head on out with the trailer. And the keys are always kind of right next to the gaming computer. I do a lot of gaming, not only with Farming Simulator, but other games like GTA and some uh, other ones as well. And let's get the door open. Looks like we're getting the opposite trigger here. Let's see if we could... I get it open from the outside, there we go. 
some big plans coming up here with our series will be that new backyard that we bought we bought another five acres and I think we'll be building a dirt track go-kart track and a few other things so if you do have any cool ideas uh, drop it down below and we are buying some solar panels when we get back from the paint shop I definitely want to help kind of see if the solar panels will lower our electric bill and I think that's also great for the environment The trailer is kind of tucked back here, which is kind of nice out of sight, and we do need to build a trailer port for it here as well. And that car was coming very fast. Good thing I walked up the brakes there. I have noticed on this map, especially with speeds of around 35 to 40 miles per hour, they go pretty fast in this area. And here we are. You guys can get a glimpse there at the new Bronco. That thing looks so cool in that uh, yellow. I really am not kind of a fan of yellow cars, but some yellows you just have to do, like on a Lamborghini, you definitely want a cool yellow. And that yellow on this looks awesome, I will have to say. It just looks so cool. Stands out. And I can't wait to bring this to farm shows, truck shows, and different things like that, uh, local events. But this thing looks cool. So a whole new frame. And uh, you guys can see no more rust as well. They did uh, repolish our wheels, which is a good thing. But we'll put a whole new suspension, set of tires, uh, wheels, and some other things. And look, we have a working shifter as well. Oh, yeah. This is a very, very wide one. Hopefully, we can fit it. Now, we should be able to. Now, when we brought this truck, it was actually brown, covered in dust, uh, rust. Everything was on it that could possibly be from sitting in a little barn for 20 plus years. I was looking at the weather and it kind of appears that we are getting snow probably towards the end of the month. They said some big blizzards are coming through and hopefully we do get some snow. But hopefully we get a little bit more good weather uh, so we could drive some of our new sport cars and do some other projects around the house. This spring I want to plant a lot of flowers out front. Really kind of spruce up the front but we kind of just have to wait until that weather comes around and let's get this unloaded. Now this barn here is perfect for the Bronco as well. Now I do kind of keep this area very clean and I have been trying to uh, kind of work on the uh, bugs and rodents. We do have some traps and things like that. So hopefully we don't have any problems. And wow, this fits in here pretty well. Now if we do get a blizzard, we could definitely turn on uh, this uh, snowmobile and have some fun. And I definitely want to take this back out in the blizzard. We did that the last time and it was kind of just snow drifting in the players, which was fun. Now I have been talking with uh, the town about adding a pool. We got all the permits kind of in the progress and we are getting an uh, in-ground swimming pool. I cannot wait for it. That will be pretty cool and it will be uh, probably 12 to 15 feet deep in the kind of deepest area. Let's get this parked up here and let's order those solar panels. So we are actually putting them in a pretty unique area. It's kind of not inside our fence, which is fine. And we'll actually kind of leave the Duramax outside here for now. So let's head around back and let's kind of take a close look. So our property actually goes uh, 20 feet past this white fence. So that's kind of why you guys see grass all the way over there. We kind of own until this tree line. So I, what I was thinking was we could probably put a few... Uh, I would say three or four at the least, right along this fence line. That way it's kind of over here and uh, we won't uh, have it kind of interfere with our field area. Let's come over here to placeables, miscellaneous, and they should be uh, pretty cheap. Now they are expensive, but they'll pay for themselves after some time. So I think we'll do one, two, three, four, 
five. So there we go, guys. We just got five solar panels. This should help us out. Now, it would be nice for it to pay all of our electric and also possibly uh, kind of get some money back from the town for generating extra. Our dream garage is taking shape. I cannot wait until tomorrow. It's a big, big surprise. I have hinted to it a few times here, but we are trading in uh, this Mustang GT for a new sports car. But look at that, guys. The Porsche is inside. This car looks so sweet, especially in this garage. This looks awesome. Just look at that with those garage cabinets back there. It's turning into a... a uh, dream garage especially we have this old classic shelby which i like and we might buy one more sports car and it might be another porsche as well but I hope you guys enjoyed today's pretty epic day here at the property thanks for watching stay tuned for our next one and subscribe for more